everyone has something in the back of their um, room is squeaking like a cricket or right. something. Turn your microphone off. Everyone can hear it. Who? Someone has some, some squeaky yes. sound coming from their house. This is. Is it gone? It's gone yeah. now. I'm sorry, but no, it's not like a bird or set off the recording. So you, otherwise you cannot review. Request the recording. So I have to print post. Okay. Okay, so, okay, let me pin my own video. So. Let me mute you guys first. So I. Yeah, thank you. A lot of noise in the background, people. Okay. Okay, speaker view. Okay, can you all hear me now? Okay. Um, <clears throat> How are you doing, everybody? I hope you all will. Um, we just chatted. Uh, there's some um, up and downs in the uh, pandemic. Um, I hope we all stay safe and uh, uh, paint, enjoy painting at home more. And uh, you know, um, so today we're going to start um, doing uh, painting first. When we have time, I'll talk. I send you the lecture notes already uh, on things I, I would like to discuss, uh, but I wish you have time to read uh, either before or after the class. So in the class, we also have more time to uh, paint together, okay. Um, I, I talked about uh, the uh, uh, outline the last time to start with a painting, uh, you do the, the contour. Um, in Chinese, it's called the Luen Kuo. Um, Gary, our um, owner student, uh, he's a long-term uh, brush painter in, in uh, this field, has did uh, research uh, into it and found that uh, that name is from the uh, the wheel of a wagon uh, and the, how that is made is like uh, this. Let me see. So it's not an entire piece of wood, right? It's something like that. So our, our painting is starting with this lost and found line. Um, we call it Ren Ren it's, it don't have a, you don't have to have a foreclosure in uh, a psychology called, uh, what it called in German, I think uh, Gestalt, you can talk, talk, uh, it's a K or T, Gestalt, right? A thought, guess thought, I think. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a German term in psychology. Um, is the four, the wholeness in our mind is called this, guess thought. Okay, Gershita in Chinese. I love the Chinese translation, uh, by Chinese translation. So um, that means we don't, when we do a, 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 uh, a shape, okay. At the same time, we create a um, image, a negative image. You might say the background. I'm using Confucius uh, paper rule. What do you see? 
two blobs. And here's the magic. You see the gestalt, which is a triangle. You see that? You see the, the, the center? If I, if I keep, um, let me see. I can suggest even more shapes without a complete um, contour, right? So the the bricks, it should be you could have wider gaps. Our bar, um, our mind will make that gap filled. So this is very important uh, in in Chinese painting. Um, actually, a famous master Huang Binghong, uh, he has discussed with the German guests uh, about this uh, uh, phenomena or or in psychology. Um, so the famous, uh, you know, the famous uh, logo. Apple is a is an application of that that uh, uh, theory. <clears throat> Here's the trick. I I. Uh, I applied some uh, uh, transparent, transparent white ink. So um, you can get uh, a bottle of that, it's a liquid. It's, it's acting like a uh, masking fluid, but uh, you won't, you don't need to peel it off. It's, it, it's, uh, it's like a water uh, resist, like an alum. Uh, you can also use alum for this effect. So when we when we paint black, it shows the white. Uh, that's a very important concept in Chinese painting in Taoism. You know the idea of uh, Tai Chi. It's the the black and the white into uh, interlock, right? So that's Yin Yang idea. So we, we talked about the three dimensions of a rock. Um, incidentally, uh, I, I forgot uh, whose uh, homework is this. Uh, I, it doesn't matter. I try to um, correct this yin yang idea here. So your know, yin yang should be, when you put a uh, shaping technique, shaping strokes, you should make the yin yang to work. So you want to make the white, white, whiter, <laughs> black. Uh, so this is the right, this part is right. So you make, you only, you only do along one side. I, I'm not doing the uh, stroke, right? But I just try to uh, emphasize that the, in, so you don't put the stroke on top. If you do the bottom, you only, you only do the bottom half of that shape. You don't put it on the top. Usually the uh, uh, sh shaping is on the lower side or on the upper side of this, the uh, shape above it. So this, this could be dark. That could be dark against light. So dark against the light is the rule. And you, you cannot put dark on both sides of a line. So if you, have, if you have to, you should leave a little gap so you can start over again, something like that. Just, just don't put dark on both sides of a, a, a contour line, which div divides the shapes. Is that clear? Okay. Uh, so you can you can create some buffer area with a, you know dark light and the dark again. So that's uh, uh, the idea of uh, uh, yin yang, and uh, uh, you know the term of uh, 
rock has a three face. Okay, I have a lemon here. I found it in my back backyard. And you can see uh, this part is like a, uh, what we call the, the, the uh, in, in mustard seed garden manual of painting, it is, is uh, translated as the beak of a uh, uh, eagle or nose of eagle, a stone, stone nose, nose of stone. Um, it, it don't have to be in the center, but uh, basically it divides the, the rock into uh, a 3D. It, you know, three is, a, is a just a means multiple. It, it could be five, could be more. But yin yang is the idea. Uh, and Victoria actually is, uh, have a, her own interpretation. And she think there is a, uh, there is a, a two, all, all two idea here, the con convex and con uh, concave. Oh, in Chinese, when you have a protrusion, like a um, con convex, it's called a two, and the convex is a all. So um, besides the, the yin and yang, the, the dark and the light, they also, you know, this part, this, this little, um, concave or uh, dimple or whatever, whatever you call it, uh, down, uh, sinking, sinking part, sinking part. Uh, so this sinking part is another uh, face or, or, or uh, side or element, you might say. Uh, so this, this part, this sinking part, is the, it could be the bottom concave, uh, so bottom usually darker. It might be a shadow, but it, we don't use the term shadow or shading because when you think about shading, you do this catching thing. It's like a Western painting. So I see many people doing very good. They already um, doing very good enjoying maybe. Uh, so when you apply the concept of uh, shading and uh, I see something very, um, Good, actually. But it's not typically Chinese. Um, let me see. Oh, this one, yeah. Uh, Christine, Christian, right? Christine. Um, and she's very good at uh, this uh, uh, shading. But uh, in, in, in painting, we need to create more calligraphy is it's written instead of uh, uh, washed or shaded or uh, see this is the difference. This is more Chinese. It's done by um, Gary. I touched it up a little bit uh, in the sh sh shadow part, but basically the, the strokes are Gary's. Thank Gary for sharing this. And he, he's a very experienced uh, uh, brush painter himself. Um, and this one uh, is from Christine. Uh, it's more um, 3D, right, in a, in, a, in a sense, but it's a little bit uh, short on the calligraphy. So I suggest her to show more uh, calligraphy. And uh, this one, actually, I think it's good. Uh, it's by a beginner student in Canada. Q, if I pronounce the, her name correctly. Um, and this is a very, very good um, example of uh, uh, the contour line and the shading, shaping line. And uh, this one is also good uh, by Emily. You know what? I, I don't have notes on um, the, the printout from uh, the website. I almost can recognize each personality. So the twin, the strokes, um, maybe I cannot tell too much, you know, just from the outline. But when you start doing this, this is like handwriting style. 
uh, comparable to a singer's voice. So we can tell the personality. Uh, if it, this person is well trained, have the long experience, or just a beginner, uh, we can tell. Uh, this is from, I guess, uh, Wayne. Wayne has uh, studied with me for many years uh, on, uh, in online class. So she is considered advanced student. <laughs> I'm very uh, happy with uh, this. If, if I made a mistake, if this is somebody else, I apologize, but uh, this is uh, just to show you how I can appreciate just from your brushwork. And if you make a pro progress, I can tell because uh, uh, as in the trained eye, they, they don't look the same. They're, they're individual. Uh, I can tell a masterpiece from a beginner student, very, um, or uh, somebody who had not uh, studied Chinese painting before, uh, just from the brushwork. So brushwork is, uh, is very important, okay. Um, let me, let me continue with uh, uh, the study of uh, the next step. After you do the initial outline contour, uh, we need to add um, surface texture, a wrinkle, we call it twin. That's a, a, a Chinese name. Let me write this down. The brush we use uh, is you could use you know the calligraphy brush. Uh, this is a uh, bamboo and orchid brush. It's kind of stiff. Weasel hair, kind of. We have this. Uh, this is a medium. I think we have also have large and medium is enough. So twin. Oh, this is so blurry. Let me just, uh, I, I forgot how to write it. My, my mind just went blank. Is that on the, I forgot which side is which. Victoria, help me. <laughs> oh gosh, my, you know, you don't write Chinese anymore these days. Oh, here. Uh, this character has a uh, radical uh, is, is P. P means a skin or bark, um, bark or skin, you know, P paper, P-I. Uh, is the, the kind of paper, mulberry paper, right? Uh, P means a skin. It could be any skin, uh, including the uh, uh, fruit skin, right? P. Um, but this, this twin, uh, twin is uh, this, the wrinkle, uh, you know, like this, or the, the rough texture, surface texture. Um, there are about 30 kinds of uh, twin um, with name and terms, you know, in the uh, history of uh, uh, Chinese brush painting, but uh, they can be divided into two to three groups. Uh, a Japanese art, uh, art historian uh, divided into three groups, namely uh, the line twin, uh, like a, Like this, Pima, Pima Chun, called Pima Chun. Pima is a literally a spread out. Pima, Ma means hemp, hemp. This is a hemp, okay, hemp rope, right? Uh, the, the 
they make uh, they use it to make a rope. So when you spread it out like that, it's like this. Um, what this suggests is, is a parallel parallel uh, line. Uh, usually, it could be long and short. You can see, can you see this? Um, and usually, start from top. And you can make two lines uh, touching or you know, even cross a little bit, but the angle should be very small, very small. So they, they form a parallel texture. It, it is used to describe the um, earthen mountains or glacier mountains with a round surface. Uh, maybe you know you can use the, this uh, to draw a lemon. Even uh, let me see. You can start to practice this. Um, Why I'm talk watching? So just make uh, use your your use the tip of the brush. That's the key, not the side of the brush. We'll talk about that later. It's called X cut, by the way. So this is the the most um, the oldest twin and the, the father of uh, uh, of our other other uh, twin technique. Twin twin is uh, this spelled sometimes in old books is this T S. So I put, uh, uh, it's not uh, pronounced like k, but uh, s, 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 like a TS sound. Chun, chun, okay. Um, it's hard to translate uh, this. There are many uh, ways of, you know, moldering, shading. Shading is wrong, as I mentioned already. Moldering, uh, there are many, there are other ways to, to, to model. Um, so uh, I, I call it shaping um, with, with a, a, a translator, a, tra a German tra translation. Okay. Um, so if we do lemon. Well, let me just do another big one. Okay, so the twin should should be relatively parallel to the, the contour. Okay, that's that's a general idea. So you you, you don't do it like a like a, like this. This is a different technique. So if you want to fill in this uh, area, you you just go relatively parallel to to this. To the contour, right? And twin is uh, some sometimes uh, just the continuation of uh, or supporting uh, lines of uh, the initial uh, outline or go. If you remember that, we we have two terms: go uh, go up is called the go, like a check uh, checking mark like a, this is called go and the le, another direction uh, going down or going up um, so but anyway the, this is the the uh, contour but uh, the twin is uh, uh, it could go up also you know so there's no certain rule you can um, you can tune from bottom up or top down or um, maybe both as long as you can create a harmonious uh, hole. Um, so just practice this while we continue and uh, just get a feel of the, the parallel, parallel texture lines. Um, 
I think, yeah, that's that's a basic uh, um, idea. So you just let me make some uh, something that you should avoid. Say if this this without without crossing without uh, um, any crossing is too um, neat, right? So the line should be countable. So each stroke has a role in the whole group, a set of strokes, but should not be too blurred. Uh, also, you know, it, too too clear. If we make it too clear like this, this is wrong. So the best is a little with a little bit overlapping, overlapping, uh, some crossing, but with very small angles. Uh, you can use the same uh, long line to organize this. And you can also use the uh, continued lines instead of uh, uh, um, one single line, you can, you can, you can just, you know, if you, as long as you keep the continuity, you can, you can use short, short Pima, we call it. There's a long, a short style. The short spread hemp technique uh, could be used on, on a small stone, like uh, we call it uh, the uh, numb of a uh, numb of a uh, album, right? So this, of course, is short. But you can also just use uh, short lines to form the illusion of a, a continued um, smooth line uh, surface like that. Okay, actually, I started to do an, uh, a little bit uh, uh, dry dry wash. A ta a scumble. So the twin uh, usually it, uh, cannot be separated from uh, dry uh, dry brush wash or ta scumble scumbling a stepping stepping maybe vertical scrubbing or rubbing rubbing scumbling. Uh, Either way, I think uh, is the idea. So let me let me show you the whole um, process from uh, go. Let me see if I if I make a stone shape first. It's just roughly okay. Now I start to do. Um, <coughs> Right to 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 add this, and when the brush gets dry, if you continue, when we call this a cha or scumble. Okay, cha is a. Um, it's a uh, kind of a stroke that's uh, relatively uh, blurry or ambiguous than the twin. So if the twin can be counted, that this area is it's, it's, it's ta. But if it, if you have more kind of distinct lines, it's called a twin. But the the twin should be less distinct than or less. Um, dark than in value uh, than the contour line. However, you know, in, in many uh, ancient painting, they just use a single um, light ink to start with. So there's no distinction, dis distinction in terms of uh, value or tones of, of the ink. So this contour could be buried in the twin and the ta, you know, something like that. If, you, if there's another, uh, Another side. Okay, let me check uh, your your <coughs> response. I, I 
I heard something so you can unmute yourself. Let me see. Let me see. Let me unmute a lot of participants unmute. Okay. Um any questions? No, Henry, what is that symbol in English again? The last one you wrote. This one. This one? Scumble. Is there an English uh, way to spell that? Or I'm because I'm not understanding the term. Is that scum scumping? Scum plus scumpy. Like a like a dry. At the end. Scumble. Ellie. Scumble. 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 Yeah, it's a Scumble. dry wash. Scumble. Thank yeah, you. you should, Scumble you means be... uh, uh, dry, dry scratching. Oh, okay. No, it usually I'm... mean opaque, over transparent. Okay, I'm unfamiliar. Uh, it's, Thank it's, you. Okay, it's a dry brush, so it's it, it's a uh, uh, in effect is translucent. Uh, you won't cover uh, everything. If you if you if you cover like this, too wet. For scumbling, uh, scumbling is like this. Scumbling. Dry brush. Oh, okay. Is scumbling, that is that brush, yeah. is, is that scumbling. similar to brush technique or not? Dry brush technique or is that not the same? Okay, we have this terminology. Chun cha. It's a it's a um, it's a compound word. Chun. You know the previous. Uh, um, okay, let me just write here. Chun cha. Chun. Okay, chun and the cha. Chun cha is a it's a compound word. Means uh, uh, means the, this uh, wrinkle and the uh, scumble uh, or uh, if if it's a verb to make a wrinkle, what they call the uh, sh we, we say the shaping um, or. Uh, Texture, wrinkle texture stroke. Okay, so this two stroke, this two kind of stroke, is uh, uh, sometimes uh, done in the same process. So you don't have to um, wait it to dry. In other words, all right. That that's the key. You you can continue the the. So you start with the go. Which is more. Some artists, uh, if you are advanced, you know you know what you're doing. You can, if you, you can start from scra scratching or, or scumbling and then, uh, turn and then outline. It's it's also when you when you are, uh, more you know. Uh, another another trick is sometimes you your brush is too wet. Or you don't know if it's correct, so you just put some uh, a test on on the on the area you don't mind if it got blurred. When when the brush, you can adjust the brush by doing this, and then when you're ready, you think the brush is uh, at the right state, you can you can start to do the outline, the last. So that's the variational uh, 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 method approach. Uh, so there, any you know, uh, any order can be <laughs> broken or rule can be uh, broken. But uh, generally speaking, you start from the longest, heaviest line, uh, division line, or contour line, and then you add this uh, uh, tun or text uh, wrinkle texture, wrinkles, and then you add textures uh, using cha. And when they are dry. Uh, you can you can use wet wash, but before it dry, you can you can do something more loose, um, like this. But remember, all the uh, shape uh, of these steps are relatively uh, the same. So, ta, it should be same same width of. Uh, if you do this, it, it's called. Uh, uh, wash right if you use the site. 
So just use the tip to be, to be uh, harmonious. Let's look at some uh, real examples, maybe from the mustard, uh, a little bit. Uh, let me see, I have the, yeah, I, I have a window open right now. So share. Okay, this is the detail of Ju uh, Ran, the masterpiece um, we introduced last, last time. He is a student of Dong Yuan in the turn of uh, dynasties from uh, the five dynasty to um, the Northern Song. And you can see how this Pima works. Uh, he used uh, some kind of uh, cross 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 crossing, um, not like a hatching. You can still see you know, the, the, each stroke has a beginning and ending, not even, right? Um, and you can see the uh, the dark along the, against the light to create the illusion of uh, yin and yang. Okay, and this is the the uh, uh, demo. So just like uh, I did earlier here, you use uh, the tip of the brush. Let's, let's copy this. Let's do something more demo according to this. And you can get this book from uh, Blue Henry. It's the, the, rock, the rock volume. Last time I introduced the, the peak volume, right? This is the rock volume. Okay, um, so in, in this example, I will start from um, the center looks like the darkest. It's, it's not a good idea, actually. We should have a division. Um, so if you, you, okay, if you have a division that says uh, side, um, upper side and lower side, right? So you can, you, you choose only um, shape, shape one side. So if we do the, oh, sorry. Yeah, okay, let me change the scene. Whoops, I got that disappeared. Okay, let me make it smaller. Maybe we'll just see one side, I don't know if these two sides. Oh, okay, this is the beginning. This is the end. So that's the two layers maybe. So um, I think this example is not um, the best to show the principle of uh, uh, shape, shaping on one side. So one side, side one, side two, right? Along this, uh, this contour. Um, say this is another, another, con uh, another contour. So you, you, you shape on the lower side of this contour, this contour. At the same time, you, you shape on the upper side or the left side of this inner contour or division line with another stone. Okay, um, what about here? Um, this example um, from the book, actually, let me see. I have to drag this. Oops. I, why you cannot see it? Oh, okay. I think I reversed it somehow. Now it's flipped. I don't know what. Um, anyway, this this is the taboo. I think if you if you if you uh, put dark on on the same line, you cannot distinct the the uh, yin and the yang. So you need to leave a little white. I think there is. If you look very carefully. There's a little bit maybe suggesting here. So you can even 
just that much, you know, would make a great difference. So if you if you just keep shaping, that will become a whole block. If you if you if you lose this little white in between um, these two areas, so that that's the idea. But if the um, see that that's my mistake, another mistake. If I use too dry and split brush, that's a variation of form we'll introduce later. Uh, it's not uh, um, so elegant, I'll say. So you, you, you need to keep all the lines very, um, not too dry, not too wet, you know, just to uh, give a, a feel of um, freshness, I will say. That, that's the idea of a scholar amateur painter. They're not in a hurry, they don't rush. So don't give it a sense of a rough or rushness. So they, you can do it slowly, gradually, very, very organized. There's no, not, you know, no single stroke will jump out, stick in your eyes, we say it in Chinese. Uh, so everything is uh, harmonized, harmony uh, of the whole. Um, and when you add strokes, you should always keep an eye on the opposite shape or the negative shape or the whole um, shape of the, the stone or the mountain. So that, that's the idea of, uh, uh, of Chun Cha and uh, Ran, that, you know, uh, the, uh, the last is uh, uh, we can use dry brush. Uh, there's a little trick. If you start as uh, the textbook suggests, you, if, you, if you start from a very light, very light, um, at the first step, let's say step one. So you, you start from uh, control, um, maybe just uh, like that. And you start um, doing this, right? And the brush gets uh, very light. Brush gets very light. You you know you don't really see it if you if I lift it. It's very light, All right? But you got the strokes. You, you got the strokes uh, in very light ink, right? <laughs> what you can do to enhance the dark part. Is you you dry the brush with a paper towel. Maybe I don't have a paper towel, and then use a, a little bit a little bit dark ink. Maybe not the purest, but I want to show you. I use a very dark, very very thirsty brush, almost uh, no moisture, just a dry, just a you know very dry brush, and uh, you can just skyping. Uh, Without adding any stroke, you just use the side of the brush, kind of touch it a little bit with it very, very dry, and just add a little dark to it. You see how it works? And this is, it has to be very, 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 very light. Uh, not to create new strokes, just to add a little dark, a little dark dry into the wet. This is what we call um, dry into wet. Very dry, very dry to, into like a, um, a thirsty, very thirsty into, into wet. So that combines, um, that combination uh, creates the uh, contrast between wet and dry. So we, we not only have the light and dark, we also have dry, uh, dark, and the light, wet contrast. Dry, wet, light, dark contrast. That, that creates interest. Another um, very important concept in painting the um, landscape is to uh, get the feel of, uh, um, let me write this down and then I'll, I'll just explain. Mao, literally means hairy, hair. But it's not split hair. It's kind of like this rough, this, uh, rough 
um, this <laughs> this uh, uh, fiber, the hemp fiber, is can see little rough uh, fuzzy fuzziness. So fuzziness or uh, ambiguous uh, or dry, basically dry. So in the beginning, I talked about um, the, the outline should be dry and the, and the dry. So you can you can. So let me just do. It. If it's too wet, it's like that. So dry. You can have some flying flying white. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good. That that has the feel of a mao. It's a coarse. I think the best that maybe mao cao, the Chinese uh, um, term. It's the the I think mao cao means like a coarse like a a, a wool string, like you 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 use for knitting or a hemp. Fiber, right? So this line is with that little fuzziness, yeah, just like that. So not not too wet, not too wet, especially to avoid something like uh, you know like this, it would be too wet. Uh, so try to get, and you can on raw paper. I use a little, I I can use a little bit uh, um, peach sap glue, peach sap glue, a little bit. If it's too much, your brush may be not easy to move freely. So that's that's the idea. You, you can use another uh, idea to get is is like the gestor idea. So you you this this uh, dotted line or lost in the found line also uh, has to do with the feel of uh, this. Uh, uh, maybe use a beautiful word, luxuriant. Bush uh, kind of, of or rock, luxuriant, rich in texture. I think English has a lot of more um, words we, we need to, <laughs> to use to describe, uh, it's not just the beauty, you know, there are many, many um, beautiful words. Like in Chinese, we, we have tang, and another word is called tang. I don't know how to translate that. Tang um, means old um, and uh, dry, uh, just like winter winter landscape. Tang. So Mao and the Tang is the aesthetic. Uh, um, so this, I try to illustrate these two words here. So. Um, Third method to create this kind of feel, especially tang, old, aged, um, is to push the brush up. When you draw the contour, instead of pull like that, so the brush handle pointing to the direction you move, we call this pulling, right? You, you push it, push it, like a plowing with the, in, in the you know, tilling the land and we plow. So plow, I call it, yeah, you're pointing to the direction you move. The brush handle is uh, following the movement, not leading the, the, this. This will create the tongue and mouth. Um, rough, rough uh, could mean like a drafty, right? It's not that kind of rough. It's the roughness of the uh, line, uh, the, uh, uh, other words I just used, uh, coarse, yeah, coarse. So this is on, especially if you're using this uh, paper, make sure you, the, the, the brushes look like this. So that gives you the feel of uh, the rock. Instead of uh, too much wash, you know, too, um, too smooth. So if you have more strokes like that, Just add some dry strokes for you instantly. I think, uh, Christian, your your stroke I can see is very good. You know, your 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 up contour line here is perfect. Very good, very good. Um, just uh, use more uh, more strokes, more strokes, and less. Maybe just uh, ten percent, twenty percent wash. Uh, 
the wash is usually concentrated on the uh, wa. Uh, Victoria, uh, thank you for suggesting that the concave part or the um, second part, second part. I will save the dots for next uh, uh, lecture, but uh, um, yeah, I think that would deserve a whole, at least a one lesson on that. Uh, on the dots. So let's just concentrate on cha, cun, and a little bit ran, gan ran, especially uh, wash. The next uh, term is ran, means uh, to wash, but we use a dry brush first, and then you can use uh, wet wash. Uh, let me see. Dye or wash, that's the literal meaning. But um, we barely use wet. Let, let me show you if I, I have to clean the brush. So we, we use very light ink. But when you wash, you still have this kind of stroke. But because the, the ink is light, you know, they might be not noticeable. So that's what we call it ran. Ran is, uh, the function to unify, to uh, create a unity and harmony. If you, you see, uh, I can use the uh, ran to bring together some, uh, to blur, you know, to um, harmonize, yeah. To add some gray, gray uh, mid-tones. So each of these four elements, the contour, uh, the shaping, the uh, scumbling, scumbling, uh, or rubbing, is a rubbing uh, more understandable? Rubbing, dry brush, rubbing, uh, and the wet, wet um, wash. However, we don't wet the paper. You can do that in contemporary uh, painting. They rely on wet uh, a lot. So it, it's complete, completely acceptable. Um, if you just use like this, I give five stars, you know, you, you can just use wash to create a five star painting in my class. I'm open to that. But if you are, new, if you are open to, to explore other, uh, techniques, I, I think your wet, yeah, I think it's dry here. <laughs> your wet would be more um, um, bone, bone, how do you say? You know, with underlying bone structure, your wash would be, will make more sense. Uh, what, 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 I think this is perfect painting. So there's nothing wrong with that. I just show you, you know, what, uh, uh, you can do, you, you, you can use a little dry brush to create more texture, the, the coarse and uh, um, a, ancient, uh, antique, antique, antiquarian feel. We call this uh, tang, tang mang, mang, tang mang. Yeah, so, so this is a, a test of uh, the brush. So let, if I, let me, Go through this, okay. <clears throat> Just go go through some uh, more pictures. Uh, I think we can we can just stay with this program. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, here is an example of Jiran's another painting, a different painting by Jiran, from the first one. So this one has a, a continued shot line formed um, a long uh, hemp fiber, hemp uh, technique. So as I mentioned earlier, and you could try this um, while we do this. This is a 
this is another painting by Dong Yuan. He is the older, oldest uh, master. If you recall, last time we mentioned him. Um, and by the way, uh, I'll show you a painting behind me. That's uh, Dong Yuan inspired uh, painting I did uh, in 92. Um, so this one has a lot of uh, short, short uh, stroke. You see this this typical um, typical southern style mountain hills earthen hills. Yeah, it's organized. This layered one, layer two, with uh, um, short strokes of uh, the parallel parallel wrinkle technique. Uh, this one is a Yuan Dynasty. So later, later uh, development is this, this they stopped um, doing any plein air. They just copy the masters and become more and more calligraphic. Uh, this artist named Huang Gong Wang, I think someone knows his name. Um, he's very famous. Uh, and this painting, uh, is a, this is a par partial uh, picture of the, the um, masterpiece. He did uh, in over a year, 20, 10 years period, I think. He did study the natural, but uh, he's finished in the studio. Uh, this painting is characterized by just the skeleton of the outline and the twin, the uh, wrinkle, uh, supporting wrinkle without the uh, wash, without too much wash. I think it's just dry wash, you might call. No, no wet wash. The wet is on the tree, on, I think. And this one is uh, is another variation of uh, the pima, uh, uh, the hemp, the derived hemp. You can you cannot even tell the difference, right? Uh, if you enlarge it, uh, it looks like the vein of the uh, lotus leaf, right? And so you can see that. So uh, it. It's not, instead of a long line, you can see the, the uh, three of uh, two division, uh, you know, let me explain a little bit on my table. So let's do a little bit uh, Lotus ring. So lotus veins are basically like this, right? If you if you look at the real lotus, that's the the, the leaf, look like that. But in, in painting, we we have a mountain in Huangshan, the yellow mountain called the lotus bud. It looks like this. Um, so you you kind of uh, actually there's another uh, I character I mentioned here. So you you kind of divide like that. It, it, that does, uh, doesn't have to be too uh, symmetrical. So it could be long and short. Um, it's it's not an easy easy one to to do. Um, I I think after you master the hemp, you may try this, but uh, just for, for your information, it's, it's not an easy one. Not so realistic, uh, you, you know, you can get away with uh, hemp if you see this kind of penny, uh, I think this mountain. Uh, actually, after we uh, have this, uh, this peak, uh, peaking area, uh, peaking time in south, in northern Song, um, you know, when we see some mountain, uh, we we will say, oh, it looks like uh, who who's who's um, painting. We don't say the mountain is uh, uh, look, you know, uh, I mean, as, yeah, mountain is look like a painting, but not painting like a mountain. You know the the uh, idea. So the Rivers and the mountain look like a painting is the Chinese phrase of beautiful landscape. 
Oh, you, we don't, we never say all oh, your painting look like a Huang Shan. It's not a, a good phrase. <laughs> oh, you can say Huang Shan looks like your painting. I mean, if you if you mean flat, that's uh, that's a good. Uh, and that, yeah, you can say all oh, your painting look like a picture of Huang Shan. That means it's too real. Okay. Oh, this is another important uh, development in the Yuan Dynasty. It's called the uh, entangled, uh, raveled, uh, unraveled uh, hemp. So if you unravel this uh, uh, rope, rope, hemp rope, uh, unraveled rope, you know, if you untangle it, uh, unravel, unravel it, you would see this this kind of this wavy, wavy uh, strings, strings, uh, and they, you can organize them like shown in this picture. Okay. Uh, yeah, see this? This is a real painting on the right by Wang Meng. He is one of four masters in Yuan Dynasty. Um, he developed uh, the uh, hemp, spread hemp into um, unraveled rope. So you can, if you enlarge this painting, you'll see it's like this. Let me show you. Another variation is uh, uh, I just use dark just to show you. So it's, it's almost like a wave, right? And there's some uh, touching, some crossing. You can, they also use this to do some kind of a cloud um, shaped rocks. Curvy. I think you, you'll find all the variations in the book of uh, the MSG, Mustard uh, Seed Garden. So it, you can, of course, you can see it's a kind of more difficult, right? So uh, basically, you have to hold the brush um, and uh, you can use your, your, your middle finger to twist maybe to shift the, the brush a little bit. It's, it takes a, some practice. It's, very not, it's not very common because it's so difficult to make it uh, into a pattern, not, not a chaos. So there are other, uh, some cha more chaotic uh, ones than this, like uh, uh, the, uh, um, go. yeah, this one, Luan Cai Chun. Uh, like a confused um, pile of uh, brushes, br brushes the the uh, like the the wood uh, for fire firewood. Right? Okay, the Luan uh, Cai Chun is uh, it's like a, you know or kind of line. It's still lines, you know, could be. Similar to the wings, it's more overlapping, or, um, but still, they in the ancient times they barely use split brush or use any other parts than the tip of the brush. So even the luan cai, the confused uh, brush uh, technique, it, it has the uh, uh, stroke. You may also push, push. The, the you know like push down to get use the tip you know to get coarse strokes, but these are occasional games of uh, the artists, not uh, a basic technique that you know they will teach the student. So uh, it's an occasional play, just for fun. You can you can try, um, but not not something. As a basic training, so if if you start with this, you will never get the older 
from chaos. Um, that's let me see. yeah. That that's the uh, actually the, this one is pretty organized by uh, this one from the master seed garden menu. If you can see that, um, it it looks like cracks of uh, the uh, rock, right? Yeah, could be. Okay, so that's it. Um, the next lesson we'll learn the second group, uh, which is the Fuki, the um, um, X-cut strokes. Um, the other day, I I I watched a um, video on uh, virtual tour of um, Cezanne's um, painting called the uh, Cezanne and the Rocks. Is that something like the East Coast? I think the coast maybe. Um, and uh, it showed uh, Cezanne's uh, interest in studying rocks, particularly um, the surface texture. And uh, he traveled with a geologist friend and uh, on the trip, they also collect the, the Paleolithic, the old Stone Age X. On the surface of the X, um, you will see this kind of uh, this kind of X cut texture. And he got inspired, and uh, they, you can apply that into his uh, oil painting. Um, so that. That could be, you know, the same um, for this kind of uh, texture in Chinese painting. At the X cut, we have that uh, as early as in Northern Song. You know, uh, this is the Southern Song master, um, the uh, not Li Chen, Li something. I forgot. Let me see. Uh, Li Tang, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> just went blank. Li Tang, um, he's a Southern Song master. Yeah. Okay. And he has influence on the uh, Ma Yuan and Xia Gui. Okay. I will talk about later uh, about this. So um, today, let, let me uh, show you some paintings. Uh, behind me, um, uh, some framed paintings, and then we maybe we can do a complete painting. I don't know if we have time. Twenty minutes. So, let me turn back to the uh, hemp. Okay. Uh, yeah, this incidentally is a, a, a good uh, uh, illustration from the mustard uh, p. Uh, Palisman textbook. Uh, this is the good one. It shows you the directions of the movement. You know, I talked about the the dragging and pushing, uh, and you should avoid this kind of concave and the, this kind of uh, sharp corners. Sharp corners. Yeah. So. Um, this painting, let me move it closer. Let me, let me open discussion. I will question you, you see how you, how you have uh, learned. Okay, can you tell if this is, uh, what kind of uh, perspective is this painting? Let me see, how do I, I don't know. I lost. Okay, so uh, anybody want to give me an answer? What perspective is this? Flat. Flat, yes. Flat. Yeah. Right, 
flat. Good. Yeah, very, very good. Okay. And what kind of uh, uh, style I I was uh, going after? Uh, the the master Dong Yuan, okay, or Ji Ran. Uh, can you give me any specific features in this? Uh, you know, just seeing from distance, you can tell if it's dragon, southern. Yeah. Dragon tail. Excuse me? I see the dragon tail. Oh, dragon wing, a dragon tail. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a, probably a uh, general feature. Mm -hmm. Specifically, uh, Dong Yuan and Ji Ran has uh, this uh, technique we just uh, taught, the uh, hemp parallel line. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Parallel line. Uh, I have detailed picture. Let me see if I can get even closer. Uh, I, I have a picture in my phone. Let me see. Okay, I'll, I'll upload it to later. But uh, you can see, you know, the parallel lines um, and uh, the little rocks we call it the alumni lines, right? Um, when I do this painting, I started from uh, a rubbing, uh, uh, mono print, you might call it, on the uh, glass, plas plastic glass. This was done in '92, and then I added uh, the texture, the uh, outline, trees, and then etc. So the colors actually comes first. I added more, but uh, this is uh, how it, yeah, later you can try, I, I, we can explore that together, some, something different. Uh, this is uh, long, long line, parallel lines. So these are just like, you know, um, yeah, lines there. And I, I also have another piece I want to show you. Ah, uh, this reflections. Let me see. Let me put up table. Maybe that way is. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Can you mm -hmm. see? I, I tried to show the whole picture. Now we can see the lines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is. Uh, um, I. It, it's influenced by uh, Chinese artists, but uh, it, uh, I, I inspired by a, a Korean artist. Um, Korean is very traditional, by the way, more than Japanese, I think, uh, and very um, uh, creative at the same time. So he he, he used a lot of little dots. Uh, and short lines, but although I have long lines under under it, uh, uh, let me give you a closer look. But they're uh, they're like a uh, found lots and found lines. But you know you can you can do a, a charcoal sketch, but uh, don't use solid lines. Can you see? Korean? I'm not sure if this <laughs> focus will work, but. Um, I, I cannot get a clean cut, uh, photo because it's behind the glass now. Okay. Uh, you can see all the dots, even the trees, mm -hmm. are similar, small. Um, so they harmonize as a whole. And uh, uh, I got some horizontal dots. Maybe we can start touching up on that at, at, to end this class. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a, a, a Lao Zen Song later. Uh, Northern Zone development of uh, uh, this is Southern School. So uh, long lines uh, along the slope, and then the texture for uh, mm -hmm. horizontal dust for uh, vegetation, and then uh, a little bit vertical dots, you know, add. Um, Make the horizontal dots standing. Uh, we call that nili uh, budding, like uh, nails in the mud, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, you can read the, all techniques are from the Master of City Garden manual, but it, it has a modern look, right? And this is a string. Yeah. 
and you can see uh, there are some Western influence. I can tell, you know, from uh, just like a, uh, this rock has a shady part. It's, 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 it's some watercolor. This was originally in the 30s or maybe 40s. Yeah, the Korean, Korean artists active in the 40s, maybe, or early 50s, maybe. And this is Li Xiangfan, my same, same family name. And this was done in 1989, my early work. Uh, when I just come to this country in 87, uh, I, I still be very traditional. I'm, I was very traditional. So you, but I start to, to see what uh, other overseas artists, uh, foreign artists are doing. So I, I start to explore some new techniques. Like in, in 92, I did the the block, uh, the, uh, uh, the painting behind me, this uh, um, flat view river, ah, lake. So um, let me let me show you another style. We want to finish. That's me dot. Someone has bought the brush called Mi Dot. Uh, unfortunately, they are still on the way probably. If you didn't get it, uh, no hurry. You should get it uh, maybe before next one. So um, you can use a soft brush, uh, combination brush instead. Uh, just and to start with, I would do, uh, let me find the cannot. This is the, uh, you can find the, the black and white copy in, uh, uh, in the website, uh, the Mi Dots, right? I try to find here. Uh, I think it's under Dots. This is kind of, oh. Okay, uh, I, I just go to the master seat, I think. It's probably in the mountain book, I think. I, I mean, with the masters, characters. Um, okay, I just use the handout to, I post it on, on here. Okay, uh, you have this book, right? The the Mi Dot. Actually, this is this is my first lesson I remember when I was a teenage. A relative come to my home and showed me how to do Mi Dots. That's where I started. Okay, first of all, we 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 outline the mountains. This uh, supposed to be the. Um, the mountain after rain, that's what it was the inspiration according to the history. Uh, let me just make uh, uh, the, the peak a little sharper, a little taller. Just like that. So you, you divide the mountain roughly. And instead of adding, adding the, uh, let me mute you guys. I'm hearing echo. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just. Um, okay, I'm using this new brush. I found someone is uh, ordered. So this brush is, is a perfect shape for this. <clears throat> I'll start from dark, but I, um, uh, I loaded the light first. So the whole, whole brush is loaded, not with a clean water in the end. I need to, the shape of the brush. Um, you can start from medium dark. I think that's a good idea. If you commit dark, it's hard to change. 
So just the same, same uh, value as the, the stroke. So you can modify the uh, previous layer or the control and the shaping. Okay, so you can start from uh, the foreground. Uh, the, yeah, there could be some clouds in between, but let me just start from here. The area, I don't mind if it's got blurry or something. I, I, I just start from the center of the ridge. Maybe. Then uh, as I continue, I will adjust. I don't have to, uh, ideally, you know, if you do, 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 do you create a, a movement of, of vertical movement. That's the idea. Something like that. So still, you know, the idea is to to um, define the slope. So I try to put dots right not you know not right on the in the middle, but uh, uh, you could overlap with a little bit the lines. But uh, basically, on on the outside, okay. And you can add more lines. Maybe uh, you can dot inside a little bit. You can use the dot to create uh, an ips. See, this is not not a good idea. I just go too fast, but that's good. You see, my this is live lesson, so I cannot hide anything. And this is not parallel to the to the bottom of the paper. Uh, that's uh, against the rule. So the rule of me dot is this. Uh, keep it horizontal to the edge, uh, to, to the horizontal edge of the paper. Let me change that. So you can just use dots. Um, when the brush is uh, um, this brush is so soft, it, it keeps the shape. So you have to rotate it or adjust it. Um, if you cannot, um, I adjust the, the shape of the brush as cool. So I, I cannot twist it, you know, I, I dot it to expand and I, I turn it and the band, I dot the other direction. So it keeps straight. So this kind of brush actually, uh, helpful to uh, develop skills. It, it has no um, no tempo, <laughs> no, no character by its own. You, you feel almost you know, nothing in your hand. So you, 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 you have more control, not controlled by him. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna add dark light later after dries maybe. So another um, group, I I try to start from the, the top. I can start from here. Not very top, that's very important sometimes is the focus. So just, uh, you know, there's some overlapping, some uh, uh, distant, separate, separate, some group, some, some grouping, some separation. Some big, some small. Uh, there's but uh, a pattern of a large to small generally to create um, this kind of. Uh, but sometimes you see there's a reverse you know, from small to large can also work. Um, just a variation of that, All right? And uh, this. The, uh, dots could be used to cover, to cover the mistakes, um, to form lines, to connect uh, different sections, uh, to separate. You know, to, to uh, it should be uh, seen as the as part of uh, the composition, not not uh, just you know concentrated on what you do. You, you have to look at the whole. So, the size. The density has to do with this kind of uh, this uh, dragon ring, uh, dragon uh, skeleton, dragon bone, whatever you call it. Okay. 
Um, I won't use wet into wet, although I see um, many artists, they do, let, they do uh, use that, um, like a breaking ink technique. Um, I think it's better to dry it. I use my palm to feel it. And also, you know, your body temperature will dry it faster, make it warm and dry faster. So you may have, you, you, you may have a little bit damp, not wet, definitely. So it will not blur, you know. And uh, you can use uh, some dark now to highlight. I'll show you. Here. This is overnight ink. I, I, it's dried from yesterday's uh, calligraphy glass. So I, I need to get some, some uh, uh, pitch sap to re-situate re it to make it. Uh, and also I, I can control the bleeding. So this is not the darkest still. I, I, I just have this darker than this. Now you can still add more and more to get the darkness. And just you dot a little smaller than you, than you need maybe. And dry, use dryer brush just to test it. When it's right, you have a go to, and it could be smaller or, or uh, don't repeat, that's the, the point. Don't repeat the previous layer. Don't, don't do exactly in the middle of the light. Uh, do another one overlapping, overlapping, you know. But you, you don't have to be deliberate to, to calculate each one distance, you know. So just ignore the first one, maybe, <laughs> Wait, you know. By ignoring, I just um, mean you know you don't have to you don't have to put a, a dark right in the middle of the light something like that. That's that's wrong. And uh, in the end, his song, his uh, young uh, the younger me, his song um, Mi Yu Ren Mi Fei or Mi Fu is the father. Um, Mi Yu Ren is the, you can read uh, the text, text on, on, the, on them. Uh, so the father has not, when original painting left, I think, father's uh, style is the, the larger dots um, also, larger, larger dots. And this uh, small dots is uh, the uh, songs. Uh, also the, uh, the song has a, uh, yeah, he, he has more paintings left, and this so we know by the small me or the younger me, uh, not me, 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 me different uh, pronunciation, both right, I think. In different books, it, it could be me, me, I think mostly me, me, but we 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 are taught uh, my, my my teachers call me, me, I think that's maybe a dialect. Uh, I don't know which one is correct. Mi dots. Mi also means rice. Does it look like rice? Maybe it is. The, the, the oval shape, but they are horizontal dots. Okay. From the, uh, yeah, there, there are plenty of water in this case uh, to indicated the rain, um, after rain, mountain after rain, that's the idea. Um, I think me, Xiaomi, the small me, also use uh, uh, more washes maybe. Uh, oops. Uh, you, can, you can wash with, uh, with the green, and light green also. I think I just ruined it. We got too dark. dark. So let's just uh, this is too too dry. So you can 
you can add the hemp texture. The the scholar painting, they don't mind the the natural texture, like you know, they don't use split brush. They think it's a waggle taste. Uh, it's a uh, switch. How do you say that? It's a commercial kind of uh, taste. Um, they they like it. Everything you know, they just believe the the painting should be as neat as possible, as calligraphic. You know, each stroke counts. So um, let's do that. I'll just add a little more. So this could go. Uh, you could add add, add um, scum, scum by dry brushing or light wash after it dries. The best after this. You could you could have a complete. Uh, and the painting was very light ink, just like a Jiran's uh, masterpiece, you know, last week we showed in the class. So actually, I, I used very light ink and then lift it. You can see not much ink, right? Grouping and uh, separation. The dance and the um, dance and uh, sparse the created rhythm and depth. Okay, let me open discussion. See if you have any questions. This is a me dots. And after it dries, you can add more dots. Uh, mm -hmm. let me I have a question yeah. for you. Uh, you said when you use the charcoal, I have never done that. You use the charcoal and you, then you cover it with the, with the ink and it doesn't show? Oh, the charcoal could be um, very light and it dusted it off. You can use oh, the, just, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, you dust it off with a piece of uh, silk or fabric, um, and then uh, just leave a little trace. Okay. okay. I, I think the main um, the main point is that uh, charcoal is you're not supposed to do every um, shape no. simple, because that will limit your your creativity, mm -hmm. your freedom. So I, I would just do, for example, if I do this mountain, I will use charcoal or pencil. Let me just uh, grab that pencil or charcoal. Let's see. Oops. Be careful with this. Okay. <laughs> So uh, let's say, yeah, charcoal is very important in drafting. So um, they, when they organize, uh, when they compose, they use charcoal and uh, I says nine times um, before uh, commit. So that's why you can dust it off. You know, um, you you can you can draw just the two big shapes and you can okay. maybe you know add a little a, a little suggestion of uh, uh, the dragon rain that's all i need because yeah you at the meantime you, you you need to imagine yourself just the uh, especially uh to to see okay. this uh, this uh, this uh, mountain foot how okay. and mountain ridge right how they align mm -hmm. right uh, yeah. And uh, to make sure it stay aligned, the shu. So when you dropped it, it's mainly it has to do with the movement of the mountain. The uh, so that's how much I would I would. So I don't have to dust it off. But uh, let me use the duster. And you can see I can if I don't like it, I can erase it. 
see, disappears. Oh, I can feel yeah. a little bit. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Yeah, before before it's all gone, you, you just start drawing, you know. You just start to, to trace the... Okay. Um, thank I you. Think, thank you. Any other questions? I, I have some, uh, some more uh, secret to show you <laughs> about this tech, this step because uh, this is very important. I, I, I will go back frequently because this is so important, this, this uh, um, contour drawing. So let, let's see if I can find that uh, folder for you. I have someone called Huang Binghong. I, Do you use um, the star in your ink? Oh. Glue or not? Okay. Okay. Um, let's do the Hong uh, Hong next time. I got a question regarding to the, this is powder, right? This is not the starch. Um, usually you don't have to <laughs> use so much. Um, you can use your fingertip, just a, a, a size of a bean, maybe a, a, a pinch of it. And then you, uh, you, uh, you can dilute it with uh, water and with your fingertips to get a, I just use a brush, you know, I just touch a little bit. You mean this, this is peach, what is that? Peach step, peach, peach step, glue. Oh yeah, and you put it on your plate, oh, that's good. Um, I just, it was excellent if you see the video last time, I, I, I just got too much here. So I, uh -huh. I, I cannot put it back. Um, and do you use peach sap so that it doesn't bleed as much on the yes, paper? Yes, exactly. It, it, it will also resituate the dry, the, this ink is uh, overnight. So it, it dries. And when, if you don't put it in there, it got, uh, it, it separates from water, you know, it, it get the particles, mm -hmm. the pastels, right? If you, mm -hmm. if you, if you re, re melt it without adding glue, it will not bound together. It, it creates some kind of a, we call it overnight ink effect. That means the, uh, when you paint, it will stay in the middle and the water will separate from the ink. That's called overnight ink. Well, overnight ink. It's a special technique though. You can use overnight ink to create that kind of how granny. To, yeah. How to make the dot rounded? Yeah, the rounded dot, good question, very good. So you need a brush, which is not too pointed. What uh, is the question? Sorry, I didn't understand. How, how do you make a rounded dot? Okay. Yeah, so if you use a sharp brush, uh, okay, there, there are several dots I, I already, uh, I should talk about. One is the small, small um, dots like this. So you use the tip of the brush, which you can use a, a calligraphy brush. Even the dot is small, but if you enlarge it, it's like you're writing the mm -hmm. calligraphy. It has a, 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 a point and end you know, the tip is uh, hidden or exposed. There, there's, and you should make the, the dots coarse, not so, so wet. If you um, do it too slow, if you do it too slow, uh, the dot will, will bleed, right? It, it will become a stain without, just the ink without a brush. To show the brush, you need to dot like, like this. So. Uh, in the beginning, I, I tell my students to, uh, to use your wrist to, as a guide. So you, you don't push too, too hard, too, too deep. So but it kind of bounce. I'm, I'm going to tell you the sound. This is how it, see. So that, that's the movement. So you got the course. Dot, uh, but not split. So you, you need a lot of practice. 
get, this is the hardest part. Some artists are really famous on that. And you need to um, do it in a group manner. There's some, just like you, how do you, you group uh, anything, you know, there, there's a, uh, like a five, three, uh, so dance and sparse, big and small to create. If you look at the, the masterpieces and just practice, try to simulate, you will see Wu, Wu Jin in our textbook. Um, he has uh, very good thoughts. Let me see if we, we have that. Um, this is me thoughts. Right? Okay, this is the. Uh, this is a small horizontal dots. It's like a small me, but uh, not really. This is small horizontal dots. Uh, horizontal dots. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's uh, for um, yeah. This is a confused dots. Uh, See, so th this one is this. This is what, what I'm doing. Uh, you can practice a little bit in can this. We? This is called a black Does pebble. What kind of black brush pebble. you use? Okay, do you need to mute or are you, are you talking to me? Okay, to make a round, round uh, small dots, you, you just need to use the tip, try to uh, practice. And uh, the horizontal dots that we talked about is, uh, I, I use this specialty brush called me dots. We still have a few left. If you uh, order it after classes, you should still get it. So this is uh, how easy it is uh, because this brush has a fat body like that, not like uh, other brushes. You know, if I use this one, it's uh, let's see, yeah, it's it's like that, right? See, so this is too long. So for rounded dots, you, you need a soft brush that's kind of rounded body, full body. <laughs> Fat body. So I, I, I yeah. how do you call that brush? Me dots. The the name I, I just call it me. M I dots dot dot brush. The rice dot. <laughs> rice dots. Yeah, rice dots. <laughs> rice dots. Right. Me is uh, rice. Because I think there are many ways. It's just coincident. Me has four dots in it. See, uh, one. Two, three, four, right? So me dots has four four dots in it. Me, me character has a lot of dots. The character rice. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you if you practice me dots, uh, you just use. Can I use other brush to show you? Yes, of course. Let me just. You might have to do a little bit of rolling. I think, uh, first of all, you have to load the brush pretty full with the water. And so you, a little bit of glue may help because uh, when you, yeah, when you paint on this raw paper, you need to do that. This is the Confucius, uh, Confucius, <laughs> Confucian shrine. <laughs> it could be very Confucian. It, with, a, with help of a, Glue, it, it, I can control that. So just uh, stay a little longer. Well, that's how, how it works, you see? I got it. Yeah, just a little bit of glue. And if you do it without glue, you have to do it faster, I think. This give you, buy you a little more time. You see, I use more water now. I can still do it. This is the Rim um, Bonian brush. Uh, it's named after the artist that I, I Mm. He's, a, he's a famous artist in Qing Dynasty. And his brush is a special made with a, a mix of a, a, a wolf and a sheep. But wolf is on the out, outside instead of inside uh, the combination brush. You know, it's a, uh, they're soft hair inside. I cannot really. Hell, but uh, there's some because it holds more moisture 
why you have a, um, we have a few left, actually not much left. Yeah, we, we, this is a very special brush. Um, I have five, uh, you can read the reviews. Height and stars, how to say, feedbacks. So this one will also work. It's not a, a problem. Actually, um, you can use any brush. This is Happy Dots. By the name Happy Dots, it should work. It's a little bit uh, small, but the, I think it's good for the size you're working on. This is, uh, I'm using the Happy Dots. Yeah, see, this one is also good. So just slowly printing with the shape of the brush. And you have to have adequate amount of ink, I would say. And you can add a little bit, a little bit, uh, uh, not the starch, okay, the peach sap group. It's, a, it's not the powder, it's the water. The, the water becomes stick, uh, sticky, sticky. So that's the happy dots. Heavy dots is a, maybe a little bit sharp on the tip. So what you do is so you can you can blend a little bit. You can make it confuse a little bit. So I think me dots is the easiest dot. <laughs> That's my first lesson maybe uh, when I studied. So I don't feel any difficulty to, to, to Henry, do that. Henry, yes. sorry, quick question. Can you use the me dot brush for other things other than the dot? Um, can you repeat? Can you use the me dot brush for other uh, applications other than putting the dots? Oh yeah, yes, uh, yes. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, this uh, these are my test. Of course, this is a me dot. This is the final piece I found. In the beginning, I didn't think uh, it's a me dot brush. Uh, but I, I feel it's, it's, a, it's a good brush because uh, uh, I used it to paint this uh, uh, perspective of paintings I showed you last time, remember? Uh, yeah, you, you can see these are all done with that new dot brush. It's, it's a very uh, challenged brush, I, I warn you. If you want to uh, buy it and then it will do the same thing for you, not, not that easy, but it will teach you um, the brush stroke, you, know, you have full control because you, you can shape it. This one is also done with that uh, new, new brush, new dot brush. And this one may be my first one. Um, yeah, it's a challenge. I think it's a challenge. Let me see. There's some more. Yeah, that's enough, I think, for, for this brush. Um, I think the best use is still the dot. You can use other brush for, for the other functions. So the, yeah, this one I found, I feel very comfortable with, so I, I, I named it as a dot brush. Now that's a Xiaomi style. You can see more dense dots uh, cover the four, uh, but it, you know, still some uh, white in the, the cloud. Yeah, that's the Xiaomi, the younger me. Hi, Henry. I was just yeah. wondering, instead of the peach sap glue, can you use gum arabic? Uh, gum arabic is uh, uh, for watercolor, right? I, uh, I think you may try, but uh, uh, they, they may not work with uh, gelatin ink or colors, I guess, because uh, uh, I, I just not, have no idea, but definitely you don't use gelatin. Gelatin is too 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 much. And gum arabic is also remeltable, right? Um, but both, I think both of this, if you if you um, try to wash it, it might become semi uh, sized, so it may prevent color. If you yeah, you have to experiment with that. So if you use too much, it will become sized. So. Uh, semi size, it's not really uh, as hard um, as an alum. So, yeah, I think that's uh, that's the only concern. And you might not um, integrate with ink better because ink maybe has gelatin kind of glue. You, you can try, let me know what's your experiment, okay? 
uh, I, I see the Chinese art supply uh, always uh, also sell that, but I don't know the use of that other than making pigments uh, for watercolor, uh, maybe. So your assignment today would be me dots plus uh, the hemp, uh, spread hemp uh, techniques uh, and using the uh, sample page from uh, Master Seat or um, the uh, Palace Museum or anything um, by Jiran or Dong Yuan or later uh, followers. It's all okay. So I, I try not to give you a unified um, assignment because uh, some are some students are very good. Uh, they can uh, do a complete painting. Some just do the strokes. I you know I can also just uh, see how you do with just like uh, your lines um, and just uh, you stay with the rock. It's all fine. Uh, I think in the past a student will be required to blacken. A whole pile of uh, newspaper or newsprint before uh, you know to get uh, to familiar with the nature of uh, your brush. So no matter what brush you order from me or you, you have, you have you, you you can make it work just by uh, practicing. The mileage uh, counts. Yeah, you have to practice. Recently, I I start uh, to take a. Uh, music instrument lesson, the Gu Qing, you know, the string music, table zither, uh, seven string. Um, the teacher asked me if you want to learn piece by piece or the method. I said, uh, I, I need to learn the, the fundamentals. That's what I need. So after five years, I go back to the single sound, single string play. If I try to learn piece, you know, you have to practice a lot of these fundamentals still. Um, so this class is good for fundamentals, but also um, uh, good for people you know who prefer to, to to complete a painting. Henry, yes. May I ask a question? Sure. Um, can you do the hemp um, and the the kun and the scramble at the same time? The scramble and the hemp. And the kun. Chun and the, the wrinkle and the scrumble. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The wrinkle yeah, and the yeah, scrumble yeah, at yeah. the same time. Yeah, this is how there's a sequence though, uh, because of the the wetness of the brush. So when you start, uh, you, yeah. you, you chun right. This is called chun. Yes. Yeah. When the brush gets dry, and you start the ta. You start to, um, yeah. See, I just add a little okay. bit. But okay. you don't want to blur everything, so you you can, uh, yeah. Just depends on. So I start time and then I go back. I, if I go slow, I can still do uh, outline. You know? So, so this two set step could work uh, together. You don't have to wait it dry. Uh, you could though if you want to wait it dry, and do. But you separate. can do it together. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it together. Actually, this is more practical okay. to do it together. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And and I I want to ask you, uh, I don't because I want to write in my note the the brush you use for that. What is that? This brush I'm it's using. The same. Yes. This one is a happy but, dot. Okay, it's a happy dot. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happy dot, but our happy dot may be different okay. than others. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Uh, it's in Chinese. It's a DMA. It means a dot plum uh, calyx or a stamen. You know, it's dotting, dotting uh, like stamen, uh, uh, plum stamen. It's called DM. DM is dot plum. That's what it says. So, uh, but it was translated by other others as a heavy dot. I think uh, that's a good name. So, uh, I just adopt that translation. So it's a heavy dot. Uh, this one is a Renbonian, Renbonian brush, this, this two. And uh, I sold out this one, it's called uh, uh, the mountain and water brush. Uh, but it's similar to this. This is uh, the uh, uh, dra uh, not bamboo, bamboo and the orchid brush. I can show you how to do. Um, so this is, this is for bamboo, right? But it's also good for landscape. 
So this is a bamboo and orchid brush. It's a it's a it's a good uh, stiff brush, usually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like you, you can use that too for 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 this. You can also use it for that. So you can use a bamboo orchid brush. So if you prefer uh, stiff brush with a bounce, that brush, the dot me dot brush, is just the fun to 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 see. It just feels nothing, you know, just so. Um, Spontaneous. It, 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 it has no bounce, it's bent and can be shaped like that. That's why I have to control it. But if you, yeah, you just have to do it very gently. If you press, you will bend. So I have to shift the size back and forth. Yeah, just. Um, concentrate on the grouping instead of the individual dots because the dots could be used to cover up mistakes and or mistakes by itself you know uh, but you don't want to keep working on wet if there's something wrong let it dry and then uh, add dark to change it so when you do dark uh, you have to be very careful uh, usually, I, I do that uh, as last, you know. So when you, when you have dark, you, you cannot really cover it anymore. So be careful with your dark. Right? Anything else? Yes, I have a question about something you have on your website. Uh -huh. The Japanese blue ink. Japanese blue ink. Yeah, is that's what, what is the difference between that and adding some uh, uh, it, it has a, has a cool tone rather than a warm tone. Um, I like that for light ink. Um, it has more flow and it's designed for light ink calligraphy or painting. It, it, it has a nice flow, just a, uh, a nice tone. You have to dilute it uh, 40 times, uh, at least eight times. So um, uh -huh. yeah, it, it, it's a very good for creating some uh, some uh, very cool ink only painting without any color. It has a very uh, subtle indigo tone. In it. You can add indigo to the ink and maybe get the same similar effect. Mm -hmm. But it just uh, it, 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 the binding is a little different. It tends to um, to be more uh, kind of uh, raining into you know it, it keeps raining more than uh, the regular ink. It's it's the opposite of uh, adding this this glue. It's it's more it just have you know more um, more a richer, richer um, tones. Good ink has more tones. I think the grinding ink is more, better than, than the bottled ink. It tends to, to be, you know, just that one tone. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you dilute the grind ink into it, uh, with water, you'll get more depth, more different uh, um, tones. Another thing is, is you know, I, I didn't mention is like, uh, you can hold the brush uh, almost like a pencil, but still do the the center stroke in landscape. Because uh, if you just keep the, the brush tip in the middle of the stroke, you know, so yeah, you, you don't have to hold it straight. Although you 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 could, <laughs> many uh, Chinese artists do that, right? like that. But it's okay to hold the brush at uh, at an angle. So this is still called. The uh, uh, center uh, tip concealed stroke. Yeah. But next class, we'll learn that side stroke. Okay. Henry? Yeah. Um, you said, I think you said in the previous class, where can you, where do you get the mustard seed garden online? Oh, so you can download it uh, from uh, uh, the, uh, okay, let me see how. To, I send it as an attachment. Uh, maybe. Oh. Get it? Uh, I I'll resend it. That's the problem because it, it, it always goes to junk folder of people's uh, mailbox. 
So uh, you can download it from uh, the website. Are you are you signed up? Uh, are you uh, do you have an account with uh, with the website? Yes. yes. Okay. It's just it's uh, website. Yeah. Just go to the class. Let me show you where you find it. Okay. Um, okay. Just hold, hold on one minute. Let me see. Oh yeah, here. Let me show you the class. Where you find that? Uh, okay. You go to the class. Uh, I have the selected page here, right in the class notes. And uh, I wish everybody read my, my lecture notes. I was uh, um, preparing this as a, you know, for maybe before or after readings. Um, I didn't have time to lecture on it because I will need to paint more, I agree. Um, then we go to the, the main page of this class. If you come in here, you'll see this uh, home page of this class. And uh, uh, it's under in, in introductions materials. The handout is right there. The book of rock PDF. That's what we're using now. I don't think we have time to cover book of trees, but I will try to cover, you know, we already covered the meat dots today. So th this is the PDF file. If you click, you'll open it. If you uh, download it, yeah, you can download it. I think this is the book from the Princeton University Library or something. So you get all these pages in English. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Master Henry? Yeah. Um, can you tell us the brief history and belief of the hemp plant and how to do the leaf structure? Because it seems like a really hard stroke. The, the hemp, uh, hemp uh, stroke? How do you do the... the leaf, the leaf. The leaf. I don't know how the, the leaves of hemp plant. I, I have no idea. I don't... Uh, I don't know. They don't paint in, in hand plant. It's just the, the material we, we use for making fabrics, right? And the low ropes. Yeah, are you going to paint the hemp plant? Marwara? No, it just seemed like a hard leaf to paint, uh, the structure of it. Hemp is like a, it belongs to the, Mar uh, the, the, the family, right? I, I don't know, your question is very, Beyond my understanding, I don't know how to answer it. Can, can someone help? I, I really don't know what's your point to paint leaves of hemp. We don't paint trees today or in this class yet. yet. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay, so yeah, if you have any other questions, please. Uh, Ask. Henry, it's our assignment to do a painting in hemp or yeah, hemp or um, uh, meat dot um, or and yeah, hemp, hemp and uh, so you can use any of these uh, references. Okay. Or um, let me see if I have. So I, I, I may select some uh, other notes. Let me, see. Uh, let me ask you guys, do you prefer the, the uh, approach that you just learn the parts or uh, the fundamentals like drills in music, you know? Or you want to learn piece? I, I can spend two hours just to copy a piece maybe next time. Yeah. Henry? Yeah. Did you send us some things? Send uh, what? Did you send us, you said earlier that you sent some emails. Yeah, to I us. sent the, the entire uh, the entire web page to you in email. Did you get that? No, no and I, I, not. I what, what website did you, what link did you use? What was your Gmail did you use for okay. that? Uh, yeah, the registration, uh, the, your registration, the, uh, the, the one you use for registration. I did, Hen Victorian uh, Henry. Yeah, I forgot about the email because I don't really, I did send last night, so maybe it's uh, too late. 
Um, oh, okay. But you did send something on one yeah, of your. I, I, let me check my folder. I sent folder. Let me see. Uh, yes, it's here. So this is the email I sent. What was the email address you used? Let me check. Let me Pardon? See. Let me see what uh, email I sent to you, right? Let me just share the screen. I receive it by classical Chinese landscape painting. Yeah, here, here is the, the email I sent. Uh, your email should be should be among the uh, recipient. So it's I, Victorian Henry. That's the email. That's the address you used. Yeah, so I, I can forward. I can forward. Uh, well, okay, I so I, but I if I know what you use, yeah, then so I, can I, find I have you. all the list here. I don't know if you, you can find it. What's your name? Ginny Keegan. Ginny, uh, Ginny, Ginny, it came Ginny it came way past there. So some people may not have seen it. I don't see well, it. Well, I, 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 I did not receive it uh, this time, and I did not receive anything last time. Okay, I copied so it. It should be. Did you see any email? I, I'm I'm looking at the email list here. So if, if you can see your name here. Or oh, just a second, I'm going to check. Can you see no, but I'm going to look for Victoria and Henry. Let me see if, if Ginny. I don't see Ginny. Okay, Ginny. Sorry, I I will check your your email and maybe we missed your email. That's why. Okay. okay it's, oh, no, Do you want uh, me? Yeah, let me start. No. Uh, Ginny, right? Ginny, Vic, Vic, Ginny yeah. It's, well, it's it's not Ginny. It's Gin Keegan ninety G I N K E E G A N ninety. I can send it to you, but I don't know what email you like to use to send to you. Mm, okay, uh, don't worry. Uh, I think I can check the email uh, uh, that you used for registration. Is that the same email? Um, yeah, but I used to, to then you changed it and you wrote back to me on a different one. But it's the one I use for registration, okay. Jim Keegan. Uh, yeah, just use the contact us page on Blue Heron and send us the email and request. Okay. All right. Yeah. I will do that. I'm Blue Heron. Okay. Okay. And Thank for you. me, I'm, uh, uh, my name is Bridget Holy and I'm not on your list. You just okay. Uh, yeah, send me a, uh, send me a uh, email to. Okay. To, to uh, make, make your request, I, I'll forward you the emails that we send out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to stop. Mm -hmm. And uh, you asked the question about um, how to proceed. I, I would think you know going over basic techniques and fundamentals um, would be more useful than just copying something. Personally. Okay. Do you have a page in the mustard seed that you would um, recommend us to try both of these techniques on? Like the hemp one. I know the dot, the dot one, but what about the hemp or the um, kunz? Um, the wrinkle style, would you recommend a page in the um, uh, I mustard seed to do? To the uh, lecture notes page. Uh, uh, yeah, you can you can use uh, those. I, I what selected. What about 187? Yeah, w whichever you like is okay. Like I said, I don't want to give you a specific um, requirement. Yeah, I just I wanted you. one with a lot of the hemp in it so we could uh, practice. Well, them. you have to, if you you know have a call for any any you know anything, or you you know you have find your own, um, it's uh -huh. fine. So. Uh, just use the the principles of parallel wrinkles. That's that's all. So I don't mind uh, what composition. I at this point I, I try to concentrate on strokes, uh, the quality right. of lines. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hey, yeah, uh, Victoria says the orchid uh, leaves is uh, a little like the orchid. Uh, I mean the. Uh, hemp, uh, hemp line is like orchid, painting orchid parallel. So that, that's, that's a very interesting observation. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll do some more exploration next time in, in the, because some people are already left. Uh, next time I'll, I'll uh, explain the, the, the uh, yeah, the orchid stroke is a small, I mean, it's a, just like a small orchid, um, orchid uh, leaves when you do a hemp. 
same movement of brush, yes. Not too much pressing in the turns. Henry? Yeah. Uh, Charlene here. Is there any way that we can print out the chat list? Is there a way that that can be done? You, you can print out uh, the uh, cat list. The chat, chat. Oh, the chat. Oh, yeah, you can download it. Uh, uh, when we send you the recording, there's a file. You can download it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Because, you know, when you put in the words or the symbols for, um, like, the rice dot symbol, uh, it might be easier to read if I print it out. Oh, okay. You can, uh, I can, can send it to you. It? Can but, you enlarge uh, it? Yeah, you, you can download it. I think uh, it's on the Zoom download page. Um, okay. On the review page, there, the, if you if you click a download, you will download both the video and the chat into two different files. Try oh, that. Okay. okay. It's downloadable. So you can, you have to get space on your computer. It takes a lot of space, but you can delete the video, just keep the chat. But okay. you, you, you don't have choice to download separately. I think you have to download it both at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody. And I Thank hope you. you Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye to me, too. Bye. 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 Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.